The Pied Piper of Hamelin, a free version of a German tale. Hamelin was a pretty town where people lived happily and in peace. The streets were broad and always clean, and a nearby river embellished the landscape. No one would have thought that one day an unexpected disaster would cast the shadow over the town's life. One morning, several inhabitants heard an increasingly loud rumble. They came out of their houses and soon found out what was happening. The town was being invaded by rats. Thousands and thousands of rats had taken the streets. Hamlin's men and women panicked as never before. Without hesitation, dodging the rats that crowded around every corner, they ran to the city hall to inform what was going on and to demand an urgent solution to the issue. Not having an answer, the mayor, a serious man in a grey suit, called all his advisers. But they took a long time to get there, as the entrance of the building was also full of rodents. Once assembled, the men started to think. An hour later, when they had just reached the conclusion that they didn't know how to stop the terrible rat invasion, a young, tall, thin, smiling man wearing a long cape suddenly opened the door and introduced himself. Nice to meet you. I am a piper. The mayor, a bit annoyed, asked him, And why do you think you can come in here? The young man smiled even wider and answered, I am here to save you from the rat invasion. In return, I just want five bags with gold coins. It's a deal! All the people present cried out. The piper immediately went into the street, where the rats continued in full action. They stole food, frightened the ladies, bit the gentleman's pants, and chased the pigeons. Calmly, the young man fixed his cape, took a long pipe from his pocket, and started to play. As if by magic, at that very moment, all the rats stopped running around. Rolling their eyes, they turned to the piper and started to follow the sweet and strange melody he was playing. The people of Hamlin couldn't believe what was going on in front of their own eyes. When the thousands of rats had already formed a very long line behind him, the young man, slowly but steadily, started to walk towards the river without stopping playing. Now and then he looked back to check if everything was okay and carried on marching. The strange procession soon reached a wide bridge over the deepest part of the river. Once there, the piper stood still while the rats, bewitched by the music, started to fall into the water, and all of them were swept along by the current. The piper started back to the town as calmly as he had left it. Met by hundreds of locals that greeted him and offered him food, drink, and flowers, he soon reached the entrance of the city hall, entering the building with a huge smile on his face. As you may have noticed, I've put an end to the rat invasion, pointed out the young man proudly. Would you please give me the five bags with gold coins that you promised me? He asked straight away. For killing a few rats? answered the mayor. Ha ha ha! No way! Go away! Noticing that the authorities were not keeping their word, the piper left the city hall very sad and headed to the town's main square. When he got there, he started playing his pipe. But this time, those who formed a row behind him were all the town's children. When he felt it was time, the piper started marching again. The town's adults burst out crying, thinking their children would share the same fate as the rats. However, before reaching the river, the piper took another road and led the children to a distant place where they lived happily ever after. Never again were games seen or cheerful voices heard in the streets of Hamlin. The town became a sad and deserted place because the authorities had not kept their word. And the inhabitants never forgot the hard and unpleasant lesson they had to learn. <laughs>